Hey guys, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. And trust me guys, it works. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. And the best of all, it is totally free. Yes, totally free. So download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Good morning, everyone. How is everyone's morning? Good? That's good. And like usual, you always got to take a sip of coffee. Mmm. Delicious. But again, how is everyone's morning doing? Good? That's good. Right now, it's you know, being kind of warm. So, at least that's fun. You know? And I got a little story to tell you guys. So, my girlfriend hearing this, she's going to know what I'm talking about. But for the people who don't, obviously, you're going to listen. Let's just say uh, I was starting to hear some uh, some moans. And at first, I didn't know what it was. And so I was just kind of confused. And I, cause where I sit, I sit at the kitchen table. Yes, kitchen table. I'm not supposed to be sitting here. It's for food, but it's my little mini office. Okay, don't judge. But uh, where the table, where I sit from the table, it's near some uh, mirrors, and it's near a wall, obviously. And I, I heard moaning in, like, the back left corner of me. And again, like I said, I didn't really pay attention to what it was or didn't really care. Until it got more intense, and it kind of started depicting of, uh, let's just say how it sounds, and, um, let's just say, it, um, someone's having a little bit of fun back there, and I didn't know, <laughs> until again, it kept getting more intense, and it was becoming more clear. And I was like, oh, shit. I was masturbating. And I can hear everything. I will, not everything. I can just hear the moans. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, shit. Um, that's kind of awkward for me because hearing that, I'm like, uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm just going to be hearing it while working on my podcast and studying and whatnot. So I'm like, well, fuck. What do I do? So I told my girlfriend, and she didn't believe me at first. And so I was like, okay, you know, maybe she's just wondering what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Until it happened again last night. And, well, not more. It was more, I guess, afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. And I recorded it. So she wouldn't think I'm going crazy. So then she gave it a little hurt, uh, a little listen. And she then said, oh, you, like, you're like, you right. Wonder which uh, neighbor that's doing it. And obviously we've, um, we depicted and went to go, went to go shore, uh, possibly which neighbor it is. Um, and I wasn't going to confront her about it because that's kind of rude to just you know, confront someone because their moans are too loud. I mean... It's kind of like one of those things of mind your own damn business. But I just kind of wanted to put a little note and just say, hey, you know, I don't know if you notice or I don't know if you know, but, you know, <laughs> when you're when you're ha- having a little bit too much fun, I can can kind of hear you. But I, again, I feel like it'd be a little bit too awkward for both of us and probably a little bit embarrassing for her. And I mean, I don't know how I would react if uh someone told me hey uh we can hear you moan we can hear your moans and it's like well what would i say to that and so probably not gonna do anything about it just gonna i'll just let it happen i'm just gonna keep it as that 
unless if let's say it started getting louder or or let's say once it starts bothering me then that's maybe i might just tell her something but again how fucking awkward is that gonna be going up to some well no I'll, i don't want to physically go up to them i'd probably just leave a little note but even then how fucking awkward is it to leave a note and say hey <laughs> your mother's starting to get annoying and luckily for us the technically the only nearby like surrounding neighbors are really the ones above us because behind us is i guess you can call it like the showroom showcasing room where what the where obviously like the what the apartment does obviously if you want to see an apartment building an apartment complex well whatever the apartment room jesus i can't speak obviously they'll you know they'll take you in show you with some furniture just so you can get an idea of how everything will look yada 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 whatever and uh where i sit behind me is like a group of closets and a bunch of other shit and so you know there's no one there and then above us obviously we have neighbors and then outside well not outside but diagonally from our door uh, we have a neighbor who looks like a dad wears a baseball cap and leaves his goddamn trash can outside for hours on end and so because before uh, we had neighbors who were lesbian and we just called them our lesbian neighbors but they hated us, which I don't know why. But now we call this guy the trash can guy because every damn time we walk out of that door, out of our apartment, you're going to see the fucking trash can out every single goddamn time. And then the other guy, well, guy or girl, I honestly don't know, um, also leaves a trash can. And I feel like his is out for hours on end, probably even days on end. And I never see him. Like, I always... I've seen the other guy here and there. However, the the other one, I've never seen him. To where I thought that uh, apartment room was vac was uh, vacant until I saw the trash can come out. And I'm like, oh, someone actually lives there. But then it was uh, out for a little bit. And I'm like, hmm, that's weird that they haven't picked up the trash. And then... Again, I looked and it was gone. So I'm like, oh, so someone actually does live there. Who? I don't fucking know. But someone lives there. Um, so, now that's fun. You got moanings on one side. And you got trash can guy. I call him like a baseball dad. Bro wears a baseball cap. I believe it's like the Yankees or the Cubs and... He's rocking it. Like I said, it looks like a, it's a white baseball dad. Well, he's fucking rocking it. Yeah. And here soon, here in about uh, two weeks now, we'll be going to a Five Finger Death Punch concert. Well, not me, just my girlfriend and her mom and cousins. Uh, but I will still be going just to you know, get out of Lincoln, get out of the apartment, just you know, be over there for a little bit. Both her sister and I and um, and her cousins, her uh, younger cousin uh, won't be going. So uh, possibly because I will be I don't know if I'll be staying in the hotel the entire time. Um because she will be obviously at their house, at their cousin's house, and I will be at the apartment. So I'm not really too sure how, um, if maybe they'll be there and then they leave once, um, uh, once the concert's over or something. But for right now, uh, it's only for right now. It's, that's kind of just it's gonna happen. And I mean that's really it. That's that's the concert times. 
And today is the game. Well, right now when I'm recording it, it's Saturday, October 1st. And today is the game. The Huskers against Indiana. Um, I'm going to just predict that the Huskers are going to lose because the Huskers have not been doing so hot. So I don't know why. But let's see how it starts going with them. You know, the whole firing of Scott Frost and all this fun mumbo jumbo. Let's just see how the fuck it goes. Um. I got another book. I Again, I never read, but ever since I started reading the Rich Dad, Poor Dad book and started seeing ways differently and hopefully starting to shift my mind differently, I bought another book where it's like uh, Think and Get Rich or some shit like that. And it is a, it's still a chapter-based book, but it's just like a smaller sized. Um, I will read that one. And then once I get done reading with that one, I'll read The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. Um, kind of just read that. Watch do some YouTube videos. I want to start making YouTube videos again. Um, like actually make them again. Um, uh, the podcast. Uh, what I want to do is upgrade it to... Excuse me. To actually get not only a much, much, much better mic, much better sounding, more pleasing mic, um, but again, have a camera so you record so that I can be posting it on YouTube as well. And <clears throat> so I'm getting, so then I can gain an audience there too. Um, and I mean, really, really, that's how it's gonna be. The first day of October, spooky season. Well, it's gonna be the Halloween season. Let's see how that shit goes. Because uh, with how the weather's looking, hopefully trick or treating is good. Hopefully trick or treating is okay with for everyone. Um, obviously, I won't be trick or treating because I'm 21 years old. So. Trick or treating is not on my bucket list. I I wouldn't mind it, but I'm too old for that shit. Uh, nothing new really has been going on with me. I hope. Don't mean to be sounding boring. Um, I have been watching uh, YouTube videos on ways to. Grow my podcast, keep, make better content, because you know, I have to I have to build a community, um, and so I'm just trying my hardest. Hopefully, getting guests. I did send in, uh, I guess, an application slash form uh, to Pizza Ranch to see if they like to sponsor me, um, so I can. Uh, that's how I can be able to upgrade my equipment and if let's say I, they ever get in contact with me i will uh, obviously talk with them and tell them you know i will do like x amount of hours of volunteer work um, just tell me what time to be there whatever and i'll do some volunteer work and all right there i can you know, helping out because of donation represent my podcast again i do i mean not probably not until I really start getting a following and whatnot is when I'll start like selling merch. But for right now, I wouldn't mind making a you know just having just customized shirts for right now. So then again, you know if I do any volunteer work, anything of that nature out and about, they can people can see you know broke boy podcast. You know they can see that. Um, and be a great way to get the word out. Um, other than that, yeah, like I said, I really don't have much going on. Um, I love you guys. Hope everything is all well. Hope you're keeping warm. Because remember, it will start getting colder. Other than that, again, 
Love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.